So welcome to another session on computing software laboratory. And uh, in this particular session, I am planning to give you some demonstration about how to design a circuit using a PSPICE environment. Now for the sake of simplicity, I will be designing a very simple circuit. For example, a half wave rectifier circuit which involves a diode and a register for its implementation. Now to start with, uh, first of all we have to double click on this uh, uh, capture student icon which is there in the desktop and once you do that uh, then this uh, particular window will come and we are going to create a new project. So go to the file then new and then project and you have to specify the project name. So let us create the project name half wave rectifier like this. Create a blank project, click OK. Uh, then this particular schematic diagram, a blank space will come into the screen. And then uh, we have to identify the different components uh, which are required for the design of this particular circuit. Now, as you know, for the design of a simple rectifier circuit, we require a diode, we require a register as a load and an input signal. So let's uh, go on placing those components on this particular screen. So go to place, click on part and uh, identify the components from the drop down menu. So here we can identify the components. First of all, uh, we have to consider the diode like this. If you uh, click on the part list over here, then the symbol will come and accordingly you can identify the required component. It's OK. And with the left click, this corresponding component will be placed and then you place a right click on end mode. We can also increase the size by clicking on zoom in like this and uh, we'd like to place the entire thing over here anyway keep it like so. And then we need to place a register. So the register is also available. Click on OK. End mode. Rotate the register. And place it accordingly. We should also use a voltage source sinusoidal voltage source for example and that you can also obtain from this drop down list like this and place it over here end mode. Now before doing anything further let's uh, double click on this particular node it says it's node number one and uh, this node is node number 2 for the diode. Similarly for the register, this is node number 2 and this one is node number 1. So we have to remember this node number for the visualization of the node voltages. Now we have already placed those three uh, distinct components. Now our job is to connect those components through where. So go to place, click on where and connect the components accordingly like so. So the circuit is almost complete. Uh, we need to only place the, the ground line. So that can be obtained over here. You have a ground. You can place the ground. And once you do that, uh, you have to specify that the potential at this particular node is equal to zero. That you can ensure by double clicking 
on this particular icon and change the name from ground to zero. Now once this is over, then the circuit design is complete. Now uh, you have to specify the different parameters. For example, for this uh, sinusoidal signal, you can specify the off voltage to be say zero volt. The amplitude you can specify like five volt and the frequency you can specify to be say one kilohertz. That means the time duration of the input signal is given by one millisecond and the register value is equal to 1 kilo ohms. Now we are going to find out the output waveform for this given input signal. Now to do that, you have to go to the PSPICE and new simulation profile. Once again, uh, you have to provide a name for this simulation profile. Then uh, this particular dialog box will come into place which is nothing but the simulation settings for this half wave rectifier. Now in this particular example, we have considered the input signal frequency to be 1 kilohertz. That means the time duration is given by, the time period is given by 1 millisecond. So to observe a full cycle, you require 1 millisecond time. And here the run time is specified to be 100 or 1000 nanoseconds. So uh, we have to reduce the corresponding, let me put it like say 10 millisecond over here as run time and let's put the maximum step size to be say 0 0.01 millisecond. So that uh, we can observe 10 complete cycles after we simulate this entire design. Click on apply, click on ok. Once this is over, uh, then you click on this particular icon, which is the run icon for the simulation. And then this black screen will come. And on this particular black screen, you can place the different voltages. You can observe the corresponding variation just by clicking on the add press. So here you can see that the current through the diode D1, current through the register R1 and the voltage of the diode at node number 1, node number 2, voltage of the register R1 at node number 1, node number 2. So everything has been specified and accordingly you have to select those different variables. Now if I go back to this particular circuit, you know that this particular node is equal to the node 1. So first of all, we would like to visualize the potential at this particular node, which you know to be 0 volt. So that you can do uh, just uh, by clicking on VR1 colon 1 and OK. And then this particular flat line will come, which is nothing but the ground potential. And you know the uh, input signal is obtained over here, which is having a variation from plus 5, mil, plus 5 volt to minus 5 volt with a frequency of 1 kilohertz. That means the time duration of 1 millisecond. That you can also watch by clicking on voltage of V1 colon plus. So this is the input waveform that we have observed over here. And in order to observe the output waveform, once again go to the address. And this time you have to observe the voltage at the node number 2 of the resistance R1. So if you click on this, then this is coming. Now in order to increase the visibility, let me just change the color of uh, this waveform from blue to yellow and it looks something like that. So the green curve, what we have initially drawn 
is the ground line and the red graph is the input signal which is having a fluctuation from 0 to plus 5 volt and plus 5 volt to 0 and 0 to minus 5 volt like so and then this yellow curve is the output waveform and which is nothing but the half wave rectified version of the input sinusoidal signal. Another thing which you can notice over here is that the peak amplitude of the input signal is given by 5 volt and the peak amplitude of the output signal is given by around 4.3 volt close to 4.3 volt so there is a drop of around 0.7 volt which is nothing but the diode drop because the diode what we have used over here is not the ideal one rather it's a practical diode with a variation or we can also consider that the cut-in voltage of the diode is given by 0.6 to 0.7 volt so uh, you can clearly observe the difference between the input peak and the output peak now you can also reorient the position of the diode just like this let's uh, select the diode once again and uh, let's pick the diode like so end mode and uh, do it like so save it and then go on the PSPIs the simulation profile being the same so let's uh, edit the simulation profile let it be this time let it be 5 millisecond let's reduce the run time to certain extent and once this is over then you click on the run PSPIs there is no error found and now once again we can identify the voltage at the different nodes like so this is the ground potential then let's have a look at the input signal which is something like that now this time we have reduced the time span from 10 millisecond to 5 millisecond so we have five complete cycles of the input signal and in order to obtain the output uh, we can click on VR1 colon 2 which is nothing but the voltage at the node 2 of the register R1 and if you click on that then it will give you this type of waveform and which is quite obvious because we have flipped the position of the diode and accordingly the negative cycles are available at the output while the positive cycles are completely clipped off. So it is also a half wave rectifier where the negative cycles or negative half cycles are available at the output while the positive half cycles are suppressed. So using this particular platform you can design different types of circuits involving diodes, transistors and you can also design the different types of digital circuits. The basic idea is the same. You have to identify the components, place them accordingly and provide the corresponding parameters and once the design is complete then you go for the simulation and observe the different input and the output patterns. Now hopefully this particular session will help you in understanding how we can build different circuits using this PSPICE model and accordingly we can also visualize the corresponding input and the output patterns. Now with this I would like to conclude this session.